What's in store for the property market this weekend? Adrian Bo, very quickly, what's your worst habit? Um, probably picking my fingernails. Oh, no. What? Yeah, really good <laughs> I won't point. Show you. <laughs> uh, tell me, how was the clearance rate last weekend? Over 68%, okay. which was great. Uh, certainly a little bit below the standard 70%, but for contrast, this time last year was at 56%, and we've got over 1,400 auctions tomorrow. Okay, what are you expecting tomorrow? I think we're going to see uh, some positive signs given we didn't have an increase in the cash rate this week from the RBA. Yes. So I will be highly anticipating tomorrow's auction clearance rate, but I do suspect it will be at least that 68% again. And property values, they're recovering. I think, are they up in all states except oh, the little Apple Isle? Oh, Hobart, yeah. Well, it was only 0.3% of a yeah, percent right. that, that it was down by. So the Home Value Index, which is a terrific metric by CoreLogic, uh, tells us the total value of properties, not just the sold properties, but the total value nationally. And what we've noticed in June, we had a 1.1% increase throughout Australia and leading the charge was Sydney by 1.7% yeah. and Brisbane by 1.3%. So Quite an accurate metric, better than your auction clearance rate, which can be quite esoteric just to people looking to buy and sell for that particular week. You just mentioned uh, rates on hold, but there was a fair bit of talk and rhetoric around it that we shouldn't get too comfortable that it's not over yet. What are your thoughts on that? Well, we did suggest last week we hope common sense prevailed. Yes, and, and it, it did. <laughs> it did. Philip Lowe was clearly watching as he He was does. obviously watching, uh, really? and he was also quoted as saying that before we make any other decisions, let's see what the first 12 impacts rises have had. So that's 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 very common sense, one yes. of the most common sense uh, you know, <laughs> statements that I've actually heard. So yeah. that's great. So uh, obviously we, last week we reported that headline inflation did soften to that 5.6%, so that could have been one of the reasons. However, next month they might look at core inflation, which seems to be the headline. OK, most viewed property of the week. Surely one week you're going to find me one yes. that I could actually afford. <laughs> well, I know you like your description, so this is French Provincial Mansion. Oh, I love, oh my gosh, yes. that is... OK, I, I, you don't even need to tell me the price because <laughs> I know I can't afford it. Where is it? It was just under $16 million Sanctuary oh. in Queensland, which is a very exclusive enclave. Look at uh, that. Just near the Gold Coast there. Is that Over a fire a... Um, thing? Yes. Like yeah. a pit? It is. I it once is a five bought pit, one yeah. of those yeah. from Bunnings, put it on my balcony. I lived in like an eight-storey apartment. The right. neighbours were not happy. But Pro they're not sentence. ideal in an apartment. No, yeah. probably not. <laughs> but over 1,800 square metres, yeah. uh, terrific piece of real estate there. It's got 60-metre uh, river frontage, which is outstanding. Is it still kind of one of the... Um, that holiday area in Queensland? Because I know two or three years ago, everyone was buying there. Over the pandemic, we certainly saw a huge uptick in values around yeah. those areas. It is considered lifestyle, almost regional, but more lifestyle, if you like. So there's some terrific opportunities now that, you know, working from home is quite normal and these type of areas are very attractive. Adrian Bo, thank you so very much for your time. As always, we'll Thanks, see you Sarah. next week.